Hey everybody, it's Jason with the Board Game Mechanics, and today we're going to take a look at a game called Hawaii. Hawaii is a game for two to five players from Rio Grande Games. Plays 60 to 90 minutes, which is probably accurate. If you're gonna play with five players, it could go a little bit longer. But what you're doing in this is, I'm, it's hard to figure out what the theme is. There's really no theme, but effectively you were granted some land from the, what, what's it say? The Island's King, the big island of Hawaii. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to send your chieftain out to grow your own personal realm or village the best way that you can. What that means is you go to a space, you acquire some tiles, put them into your village to score some points. So this is a worker movement, tile buying, and tableau building game, kind of. That's not a good explanation. Let's just go out of the table, check it out. All right, so here's a game of Hawaii, almost all the way set up for two players. And I say almost because there's one more piece we have to do to the board. But before we do that, let's talk about the setup. So you're going to give each player a player board, has their color on the back. Each player will also get a boat, has their color, a 50 and 100 point marker. And then you're also going to get a player screen. I'm not going to use those, but there's some cool little tiki huts that you can use to keep your shells and your money and your fruit. I'm not going to do that because it's just me playing, so that's kind of pointless. But um, yeah, there are those. And then you're going to lay out the main board. You're gonna randomly shuffle the tiles and you're gonna fill out the grid here. So I've done that. This is the layout that we got for this game. You're gonna put your big chief here and your little chief here to do turn marker and a little chieftain here on zero. And we'll get to the rest of that when we get to it. You're also gonna shuffle the islands, flip out four at each of the four dock spaces. All right, now to continue setup, what we're gonna do is we're gonna reach in this bag and we're gonna get some prize tokens. Okay, so I get the prize token, three. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if whatever the next token is that comes out, plus three is equal to nine or less. So yeah, we have five. So we have an eight, so that one stays out. And you will see why that's important when we're playing. So let's just go ahead and keep going. Four, we need to get a two or less. We have a five, so that'll be a fish. Goes over there in the, the fishing area, the fishing cove. Six. Five, we're gonna get another fish because there's no one tokens at the six. Uh, we're gonna have three, three. This one should be good. Two, four, plus five equals nine, so that one's good. Five plus. Four equals nine, that one's good. F three is less than five, that one's good. Two plus four. So I need a four, uh, no, we're good. Two plus four plus six, two is eight, we're good there. We have three here, I need a six or less. We got a six, we're good there. Five or less, we got a four, all right. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put one on each of the spaces down here that has a turn order player besides space number one. So it's gonna be enticing to go there in that turn order. All right. And also to set up, we're gonna, we started out with some shells and some feet. That's on the back of the first um, tile here. So 13 shells, seven feet. And the second player will get two fruit, which is a wild that can be used in place of anything else. All right, so that's enough. Let's talk about it. Let's, let's get playing. So what you're gonna do in your turn is you're gonna be controlling your big chief here. And then you're gonna have a couple options. You're gonna be able to go do any of these island actions, go fishing, go over here to take a new turn order, but that's effectively passing for the round. Or you can spend a foot to move to a tile, one of the different spaces here to collect the tile that's there. And I'll explain why that's important when we get to that. So uh, blue is first, so then what do they wanna do? I think what they wanna do is They'll spin two feet, so they'll go boom, boom, two feet. And they're gonna spend 
They have to spend two shells. That's what these mean. As long as there's a token here, you can have access to buying. So they're spending two shells, or they can spend four shells and buy the back side of the tile. All these tiles have the back sides except for the Kahuna and the Tiki's, and the back side is more powerful. I think they're gonna do that. So they're gonna spend four shells. So double the cost. And then they're gonna put a two, side two of a banana in their village. Now, the reason I put it there is because you have to start a new village with one of these five tiles. These two, these two, or that one. Anything else has to go next to a tile that's already on the board. So that's that. And every village, which is each of these five lines, can only have one of each tile in it. So that's one of the stipulations as well. And that's their turn, they're done. So now it's Red's turn. They're going to, hmm, man, everything's so expensive. They're gonna come over here for one foot because all the beach is connected to both of these. They're gonna spend six shells and they're gonna do the reverse side of this one and they're gonna start a new village. So now every time they pick up a red point marker, so the red shells with the little um, swords, they're gonna get a point from now on. All right, so that was their turn. Back to blue. Blue. Ooh, that's up here. So they're gonna spend one foot and they are going to get a boat. We start with the two boat and I'll try to explain what boats are good for when we get there. But they're gonna spend two shells. Actually, they'll spend four shells. So four shells and they're gonna take a three, a four boat, but it's gonna come with one built in foot. And all that'll make sense when we use it. And I'm gonna show you that before we get off this video. All right, so that was their turn. Back to uh, red. Red is gonna go one, two, two feet. So you can think of feet as like your movement power. So that's kind of what we're doing here is they're walking. And they're gonna spend four shells. And they're gonna take this tile, which will give me a shell at the beginning of each round, or at the end of each round for in during income. All right, I'll put it there. Back to blue. Hmm, where's blue? They're over there at the boat. All right, they're gonna go here for one foot. They're going to spend four shells because they only have five. They're gonna take this one. This one does absolutely nothing for you except it's a double size tile and it's going to help you get over to scoring, which I'll get to when we take some of those tiles. All right, let's see. Red's turn. I think I wanna go here for a foot. Diagonal is considered one space away, so one foot. I'm gonna take this one. Oh, I also would've gotten a point for that last one that I took, forgotten the red one. So I'm taking this one, it's a three. And I'll pay three. And I'm gonna take some Kiwi, throw it down here on the front side. Okay, done. Now back to blue. Blue is going to, they only have one shell. So I think what they're gonna do is they're gonna come back to the beach. Coming back to the beach is free. Doesn't take any feet to move there. Then what they're gonna do is they're gonna get on a boat. They're gonna go visit this island. So that's a good time for me to show you what's going on here. So what they need to do is, they need to spend three feet and have a boat that can hold three feet to go out to this island. So I have that. So I have one built-in foot, so I have to spend two feet. Take some power to get there. Then I'll just, you know, exhaust this boat, tap it, whatever you want to say. And then I'm going to go out to this island. So I get two points just for going. And then I'm going to get two tikis. Now, now's a great time to explain what tikis are. And I get one foot for placing that tiki there. So tikis, their whole purpose is they're gonna determine how long your villages have to be to score. So if you look at where this tiki is, I need to have tiles over to this section in all my villages to have them score. So the more tikis you have, the shorter your village can be and the more points you're gonna be able to score with less tiles. So that's the point of tikis. And then when you're done going to the island, take the island, put it at the bottom of the stack, 
and a new t tile will come out at the beginning of the next round. All right, so I have three feet. So red has three feet and two green, two fruit. I'd like to get a boat. Yeah, let's do it. So I'm going to go one, two. I'll spend two feet for that. I'll spend my two fruit, which can be, they're wild, they're any resource. And I'm going to take a three boat. I don't get the upgrade because I didn't spend any upgrade money. And I take the two. All right. Back to blue. They have two feet. Two, four, six. That's not going to help them. One shell. Man, this is rough. All right, they're going to pass. So they're going to come over here. They're going to be second. They're going to take the two. Okay. And then it's back to red. I have one foot. So they're going to just come down to first player. Okay. So we'll just turn order accordingly. All right. So now what's going to happen is we're going to look at this round marker here. And we're, we're going to look at that nine. What that means is you're going to look at all the tokens that you've collected for the money that you spent. If you have nine or more, then you're in the running to score some points. Whoever has the most gets the first most points. Whoever has the second most gets second. And everybody else who met the criteria, if there are more than two players, will get the third number. So I'll look at this. So blue has six. They do not meet the criteria. Red has seven, nine, 12. So they do meet the criteria and they get first. So they will get eight points. All right. Then the next thing we're going to look at on this is we're going to look at how many, how much income we're going to get. So this is our base income plus tiles, which we'll get to. So we get 10 shells. Big shells are, are five. So there's 10 shells. Six feet. Big feet are five. So same thing for the other player. 10 and six. Okay. Then you're going to look at your tiles and you're going to determine if you get any additional income. So this player will get two fruit. Two fruit. This player will get a shell and a fruit. Oh no. Ooh, I almost dropped it. That was almost bad. All right. Then what happens now is the islands will slide down. New island will come out. All the tokens will get put back into the bag, whether they were used or not. So we put these back in the bag. Put these back in the bag. Fish are gone. Gone. This the, the, takes the longest part of the game, and it is a lot easier when there's someone helping you do all the maintenance. But since I'm doing it by myself, you're gonna have to just painstakingly watch me do it slowly. All right. So we do that. Then the round tile will go away. Now this round we want to get 11 shell points, and we're gonna get less income. So we need more points, less income. And then what we would do is we'd reseed the board again. I'm not going to do that. Um, I need to untap any of your boats. I'm not going to reseed the board, but you keep doing that. Reseed the board. Play again like normal. Then you go do another round. Same thing. Another round. Same thing. Then round 17, you will, or the last round, you get no income at the end because it's the end of the game. You get a whole pile of points, but you need 17. And then you're going to score. So you're going to score based on a couple things. So I didn't show you everything. So let's just show you. Let's do this here. Let's get this, this. Let's just create some stuff so we can um, score. Five. So we'll focus on blue for scoring. Then we'll do this one. And then a, a hula girl. And... Um, a foot and one more kahuna all right so if this was how the game ended this player would score all these villages because the villages are at least up to the tiki see there they extend past the furthest tiki so they're good now the way scoring works is you're going to score points for your kahunas here which are these i never bought those during the game but each kahuna is going to score as long as their village meets the tiki meets the tiki the points next to them. So I get 20 points just for my kahunas on here. Okay. Then, oh, I can't put that there. Just kidding. Let's do it like this. Okay. There we go. Then what we're going to do is we're going to look at any tiles that would score. So I would get five points here. So that's an additional five. So that's 25. Then I'm, the hula girl is going to score one point for every tile in that village, including herself. 
So that's three more points, that's 28. Uh, and if you had some of these god tiles, like if I had this one here, I would get one point for every fruit shown in that village, so I get two more. Um, if I had this one here, this one's gonna score for every different type of fruit I have in the village, one, three, six, or 10 points. Um, I think that's all the point scoring ones. There's a bunch of different god tiles, so if I, like, if I had this one here, I would get a point, for, two points for every boat, or four points if I upgraded it for every boat or surfer that I have. I didn't explain surfers, but they're gonna manipulate these points here to make it easier to achieve. And then that's effectively it. And then whoever has the most points is the winner. And also when you place a kahuna, when you cover up the shells, you get those shells. So that was a, a quick run through of how you play Hawaii. Let's go to the top, see what we think about it. All right, well, that was Hawaii. So I saw Rado play this game on his channel, I don't know, a long time ago. And I thought, man, that game looks amazing. It's got, you know, I think the island, the board looks interesting when it's out there. It's not the normal square. It's an actual, you know, could be the shape of an island. The way you're building your player boards with the tiles, the way you're moving your chiefs by spinning feet because, you know, they're large, so they get exhausted moving up the hill. That was Rado's theme, not mine, but it works. And just acquiring the tiles, different tiles in each village to try to score the most points. I thought that was awesome. So I tried to find a copy, or I wanted to find a copy. I never got one. And finally, I made a trade for one, and I got to play it, and I'm so glad I did because this is such a good game. Uh, I, I know that some other people didn't really dig it. Tom Vassell didn't like it, but who cares what he thinks. Um, but yeah, this is a great game. Yes, it's not the most in-depth of all games, of all Euro games. You're moving, you're buying tiles, you're putting them in your villages, different tiles in every row, trying to score points. You need to make your tiles hit the tiggies to score points. It's not super deep, but it's fun. Every game doesn't have to be different. It doesn't have to be groundbreaking. Sometimes a game can just be fun and you can enjoy playing it because the game is fun. And I think that's where Hawaii is. Uh, it's an interesting game. I like the moving around, trying to get tiles. It's kind of a race sometimes. You wanna to get to some spaces where there's a, a price token because if there's no price token, you can't buy those tiles anymore. So you you know you may want some tiki's. There's only one token there. You're not first player. So you might have to find a different way to get some tiki's, maybe go to an island or, you know, wait till the next round and then go there and buy two of them or whatever. So I, I, I like it. It's, it's interesting. It's kind of feels like a worker placement game, but you're not really blocking anybody off outside of taking all the price tokens. It's just a worker movement game. And then wherever you land, you get to take the action of the space, which is pretty cool. Uh, I like the way the boats work. They have a certain capacity and feet that you can put on there. And then you just tap them when you wanna go visit an island or you wanna catch fish. I didn't catch the fish, but basically you can send your boat over to the cove or you can go over to the cove with your chieftain or chief, I'm not sure which one they are, but the big guy. And for a foot, you can capture a fish token, but you gotta have room in your boat. So that's what you're normally gonna use this little two boat for. And then the fish token are gonna to add to the total to try to meet that, that number right there on the round tile. So sometimes when you get low numbers over there in the pier, they're gonna have three fish in the back and then it's more enticing to go you know, to go fishing. But when there's just one fish on the token, it's not really that, not really worth it. So yeah, I, I like this game. I like the, the bits. I think the shells are really interesting. The feet, how many games have feet tokens? I mean, come on, that's, that's awesome. That is awesome. The fruit is the least exciting of all of them, but still amazing. The tiki's, I love the, the way the tiki's look. They're angry, just awesome. The player board is amazing. The little bits, you know, you got your big dude, your big guy, your big chief, your little chiefs right here. I, I like it. I can't say enough good things about it. I, I'm glad that I finally have a copy of this and was able to play it. And it's going to be sticking around for a long time because I dig it. So I'm going to give this a BGM accepted seal. This is going to get an 8 out of 10 on BGG, which is a 4 out of 5 wrenches on our arbitrary wrench scale that means absolutely nothing. But we have to give it the games that we enjoy. And that's what we're going to do. So that was Hawaii from Rio Grande Games. I'm Jason with the Board Game Mechanics, and as always, keep gaming.